Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. Today we're going to be taking on Flame Mammoth, as his stage is very easy after yesterday's escapade. So let's just uh, jump on in here and get started. It's not going to be too difficult to go through this stage. The fight with him is going to be a little tricky since we don't have uh, what he's weak against, but it's still not going to be too hard. Just some conveyor belt shenanigans. Uh, you can see right away that there's some snow on the ground, which uh, denotes the changes that we made by uh, beating Chill Penguin first. Um, the stage is just going to be a lot easier. Uh, if you played the game before, then you'll know that underneath me right there on these uh, conveyor belts is supposed to be lava. makes the platforming quite a bit more difficult. But uh, since we went ahead and beat Chilly Chill first, we don't have to deal with that right now. Go through here. Now we will come back and use the helmet to break those blocks up there and get some goodies. But for right now, well, we don't have that ability. So we're going to just run through here. We could, of course, be running on the ground. And, well, we're going to do that right now. I think we can drop down later, but... Grab a heart tank right here. Perfect. Be real careful not to get hit by these matools, I think they're called. Go through here. Whoa, that guy was freaking lobbing that sucker. All right, so uh, important thing to keep in mind is that your sub tanks, your energy tanks, are going to empty in between stages, so you might as well use them whenever you can. God, screw you, bud. So feel free to use those whenever you're in a boss fight that you uh, need a little help with, because there's no sense in saving them up. We'll grab that, and then we just got to make one little jump here. Our boots actually break through these blocks, so we'll do this real quick. And get yet another sub-tank. So, this fight with Flame Mammoth, we might not be powered up to the point where we, we would want to be, uh, as far as what weapons we have to use against him. But I gotta admit, with uh, two sub-tanks, this fight should not be too difficult for us. Oh, the rest of his stage is pretty easy as well. If these assholes would stop throwing pickaxes at me, we'd be a lot better. We'd be in a lot better shape, but it's whatever. Go through here. Yeah, I mean, it's just obviously a lot harder with the uh, fire. This one goes the opposite direction, so you really need to dash right there. But pulls you backwards. The other ones push you forward. Uh, I don't know. This stage is pretty straightforward. Even with all the lava in here, it's a pretty straightforward stage. There's not a whole lot... It's gonna see. I always think that guy's gonna throw it straight. There we go. Not a whole lot to catch you off guard. We got a new enemy type right here. I'm pretty sure you saw how to beat him. A lot like Sniper Joe. Uh, maybe a little harder to dodge. Ooh, I almost got hit right there. Oh, you tit. Drop some life. Oh, god damn it. We're in kind of rough shape life-wise for our uh, fight with Flame Mammoth. We actually only have to get this guy left to go before we take him on. So. Looks like getting health is not in the cards, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take Flame Mammoth on anyway. He's actually not that difficult. Uh, I wish, wish it was possible to have that uh, Mega Buster upgrade, but we have to do a ton of shenanigans to get that. So we're just going to be coming in here, taking him on. Uh, we also could have gone in order and got what he's weak against. So he's going to jar the ground, throw some oil slicks, uh, this is pretty much his two major attacks. Another thing that he's going to do is change the direction of the conveyor belt a lot, so, oh my god. And spit fire at some point, you would think, there, right there is how he changes the conveyor belt direction. Those don't hurt us, I don't know, he's really not doing anything that's going to damage us, I don't really know why. Just change that all day, buddy. It's whatever you want. There you go. There's an attack. So we gotta be careful because that will actually set that oil slick on fire, and we we don't want that to happen because it becomes a pretty constant pain in the ass. Oh, just barely. Oh, I forgot that he was gonna jar me right there. Oh, actually, really simple to take him out. That was super easy. Usually he uses that fire attack a little bit more. But you can jump each of those individually, or you can uh, jump on a wall and just kind of chill there while he's doing that. Uh, those two strategies should pretty much make quick work of him. I think he hit us once, maybe, so not too tough. 
Not too difficult. In all honesty, though, full disclosure, for some reason he wasn't being very aggressive right there. So, uh, But, hey, gift horses. I'm not going to complain about it. Pretty awesome suit. Pretty awesome ability. Flame Mammoth's ability is one of my favorites. Uh, it affects the environment in a lot of cool ways. We'll be playing around with that probably next episode. Almost definitely next episode, actually. Probably be taking on Storm Eagle, I imagine. Um, or was this Sting Chameleon? That's his name, Sting. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably what we'll be doing. I can't really decide if it'll be uh, Storm Eagle or Sting... Well, Sting Chameleon is Storm Eagle's weakness, so maybe I'll finally show you what it looks like to fight one of these guys with their weaknesses instead of just the Mega Buster. But, that's on tomorrow's episode. For right now, I just want to thank you for checking out this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.